A team of researchers at the Indian Institute of Technology in Guwahati have developed an artificial intelligence model to predict how a person's thigh bone fractures would heal after surgery. Developed by Shoptik Chanda, an assistant professor at the Department of Biosciences and Bioengineering and his team, the model will not only be able to help reduce the healing time and pain post surgery but will also bring down the economic burden for patients undergoing such a treatment let's go meet the professor and his team to understand how they came up with this ai model well actually uh, right from the beginning we were very interested to understand how different extramedullary techniques splitting techniques that can relate to the healing outcome so through my interactions with uh, various clinicians and doctors from time to time, what I have re realized is they choose one particular technique for a particular patient based on pure intuition and sometimes from their experience because there is no set rule how one technique will lead to one particular outcome. So that's why we want to understand if there is any relationship if at all or if we can come up with a predictive model just to aid to that process. We have connected these information, this the role of the mechanical stresses in the bone and the biology which involves the angiogenesis like uh, if one tissue is affected and uh, there is that much amount of load in this tissue then the blood how much the blood will travel uh, to the adjoining tissues so these informations are there means from the biology point of view that if stress values lies from this megapascal um, to this megapascal, then the blood flow will be this. So, like this, we have made rules that uh, we have set of rules like 32, most to be most precise. Then, if our value is lying in this range, then uh, the cartilage formation will be this, then bone formation will be this, and we iterated each step. These things are already done through uh, in vivo testing, like mice where they give load to the mice, they see how much uh, the cartilage is forming. So we acquired those biological knowledge, we interpreted here, we made the algorithm to the full-scale human body. To understand the healing process of a fractured bone, the researchers used a combination of finite element analysis and the AI tool Fuzzy Logic. The Fuzzy controller analyzes variables like cartilage and bone concentration and yields output variables like changes in bone perfusion, cartilage and bone concentration. So actually we have started with some 3D model which is the NCLOCO model of a femur and we have simulated the callus region also which is the region of interest where the healing will happen and then we did some finite element analysis with, a, with the help of some uh, external load. External load means the physiological load, the load that is being applied on our body. Uh, and then we calculated some mechanical stimuli, the stimuli that I talked about, for example, uh, stress strains, etc., et the raw values, and which, which are fed into this local uh, fuzzy logic controller. So in, inside the fuzzy logic controller, all this mix and match will happen. For example, which rule will dominate, which rule will not dominate, etc., etc. So um, first is the fuzzification and then the fuzzy rules and then the de 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 defuzzifications and through the de defuzzification we will we'll get the tissue concentrations okay and then updating the perfusion material properties the material properties mainly is the Young's modulus which is the stiffness which is the uh, which, which tells us how, how hard the bone has become or how hard the tissue has become rather so that from that we can understand whether the tissue is uh, at bone level has reached at bone level or not okay and then uh, we will see whether it has reached a convergent stage or not so if it is not then again um, it will the, this again will follow the, again this, the fuzzification fuzzy rules defuzzification all these things will follow so up to a certain when the convergence has reached so we'll see we'll see that we'll say that the healing process is completed so and we have seen that generally about eight to nine weeks we have seen that uh, most part of of, of this interfragmentary gap 
has been filled with bone, matured mm -hmm. bone. So that means, and which is clinically also very pertinent because clinically it says that generally for a normal uh, patient, um, seven to eight weeks is the normal healing time. Okay. Each uh, human being functions in a different way. So in a way, the fuzzy uh, it becomes handy in a way because it works in a range. The researchers are now working on developing a software or application on this algorithm that can be used in hospitals and other healthcare institutions as a part of fracture treatment. Reporting from Guwahati in Assam, the Sangna Chakrabarti for the print.